Hello, welcome back to my UHD channel. Okay, today final video, part two of the function of the A1000. And I'm talking about the cool auto rotation. So I'm gonna show you everything you can do with auto rotation with the application and the gimbal after the opening. Now, for the very cool auto rotation function. What you have to do first is click the function button four times. One, two, three, four. Then you take your camera and you put it where you want it to start, okay? So let me, let me show you, I want it to start here, okay? You press one time to um, record this place on the gimbal. Then you put your camera on the other place. And I just want to have a tilt like this because I want to film from there to there, something on a table, let's see, okay? And this is where I want it to end up. So I'm starting here and I'm going back there. The single click there. And you can see the camera is going back right there. Now, the coolest thing with that, okay, is that if you want to have your camera set up for rotation and panning, okay, for let's say a five minute turn, a 12 minute turn, a 15 minute turn, a one hour turn. So you want your camera to go from there to there in one hour because you are doing some time lapse. So you are shooting, let's say one frame every five seconds and you want to, your camera to go from this way to this way in one hour. So this is, I'm gonna show you here, okay? This is what you have to adjust with the gimbal on the application on your phone. So this is important to remember. This is where you set up the time that your tilting and panning will be, okay? It's on the application. I'm gonna show you here the application, the functions, and everything that you can do with the applications, okay? Because uh, I'm gonna do some screenshot and I'm gonna explain to you what is pretty cool about the application. But the auto rotation mode is only adjustable with the app. So this is what I've discovered because I, I've looked a long time to why I have not been able to have the gimbal from one side to the other side. I was looking everywhere, but the, um, the, real, um, the real answer was um, in the app. So I'm getting used to the app, but that's a pretty interesting thing because the authorization is from one side to the other side with the app. So I'm gonna show you also one thing that is really cool with the app. I'm gonna show you here, double click here to have your camera, the camera back into its position. And I'm gonna show you a screen here about the app, what you have on the app. But I can show you that with the app, which is pretty cool, is that you have, um, let me see. You have also the control, and, and you will see I have it in my hand like this. And you have in the app, as you can see, you have the same joystick, but on your phone. And as you can see, I can pan the camera on one side, the other side, tilting, I can do whatever I want with the joystick and the app, okay? And what is pretty cool is that you have on the app, a button that is called restoration. So you just tap here and it's the same thing as the double click here. The camera goes back in its original uh, place. So what I'm um, really uh, interesting, what is really interesting about this app is that as you can see, I'm gonna just go from one side to the other side. And like I showed you with the joystick on the gimbal, I can go from, let's say, one side to up, 
Look at how I can go really, really, really slowly with a pan shot. So if you want to do like something on a table, the gimbal is on the table at home, you want to shoot something from the right side to the left side, you can go like this, have your camera go this way, go this way, and let's say you have an object like here, and you want to go back to the other side because you have objects in front of you, you can, let me see, like this, and look how easy it is with the app so you can go even slower with the um, joystick that you have on the application and look how the camera is going really 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 slow and i have not timed the um the uh, the, the speed the lowest speed that you can go uh with the um, joystick on the camera but you can go really 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 slow so it's really interesting to have some superb shots if you want to have your camera um, panning from one side to the other side you just have to put your your things in front of you use your the app and let's see uh, look at how slow it goes so that is really interesting the other thing uh, that I want to um, finish with the explanation of the app and also the um, uh, demonstration of the function of the gimbal is that you have one place, only one place to adjust the speed of your gimbal. So every engine, you have three engines, one engine here, one engine here and one engine in the back. Okay, because it's your three axis gimbal. The only place you can adjust the speed of the gimbal is with the app. So let me show you if you go to uh, settings here, and I'm going to show you here uh, on the picture. I hope you can see it uh, with the with the um, uh, my camera here, but I'm going to put the picture here. Okay, of this. This is where you can adjust three engine. So you can adjust the panning, the, the panning speed, the rolling speed, and the tilting speed on the application. And then the gimbal will be automatically um, adjust at the speed you wanted to have your gimbal, okay? So, and you have in terms of the settings, um, all other things also uh, with that because you have the joystick settings um, you have um, everything you have the joystick the joystick settings here uh, you can uh, go back and be a tilting speed and the uh, panning speed lower faster so it's a good, it's not a perfect application, but I think it's a good application. So I'm going to put here some pictures of the app, okay? Because as you can see here, it's maybe difficult to show you with the camera right now. And you know, this is how you just adjust the um, your uh, your speed. Your you can have everything set up with the um, with the app of the uh, joystick of the uh, gimbal and finally what I have to tell you about the gimbal and the application is when you have you are uh, hooked up with your gimbal okay if you have an update um, on the um, gimbal software you can do it from the phone directly to the gimbal so that's perfect because you only have to go there it's going to tell you we have a new update for your gimbal because the gimbal have a software okay and when you buy it go on the uh, software um, company website go and take a look at the new version of the software and update the software right away but once the update is done with the gimbal and the phone and you're uh, hooked up with the phone and the app with your gimbal, you will be able to do the updates from your phone. So this is really, really, really cool. Um, I think that for the um, price, 
I think that for the um, what you have in terms of functions with this gimbal at 499 I think it's a really really good deal um, if you can work with this and learn how to work with this gimbal you will do some magnificent shots uh, I have no doubt in my mind it's not a professional uh, gimbal it's not a gimbal for full frame camera like Canon or Nikon it's for mirrorless camera so if you have all the Lumix G series this is a perfect gimbal for you so thank you very much for watching that was the auto rotation function which is fabulous on a gimbal like this small carry it everywhere you want um, lightweight very impressive stuff so that concludes the the uh, videos for for the a1000 and uh, until then see you in the next video in the meantime subscribe to my channel like this video if you do not like i'm gonna try to do better the next time so take care of yourself and see you in the next video